Now this gonna be your last one. A message to my biracial brothers and sisters for, for a while. I might find the need to holler at y'all uh, somewhere in the future. But I just want you to know that uh, we know the biology of our people as a, as a whole, as a mass of people from the Chinese, Japanese, Mexicans, the so-called Indians, Eskimos, Indonesians, Africans. See, we all the same people. We, we the people of the planet. We go where we, we, we went where we wanted to go, all over the planet. You know, uh, the whole planet was called Asia. And uh, we could go, we didn't need no passport. We didn't need to pay no toll. We settled in the best part of the planet. You know, this was us. And we lived off the land. And we were scientists, master architect, master builders, master technicians, Master Farrar taught us that our history goes back more than 76 trillion years, but this is when we start clocking our history, around 76 trillion. But Master Farah Muhammad considered himself black. And he loved his people. He came straight to us. Allah in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And he raised up his messenger, Elijah Muhammad, to give us this knowledge. The government don't want you to have this knowledge. They don't want you to think like that. They want you to think that they the gods and that the black man came from them. But wait a minute. That's not sounding right now that they didn't discover ancient uh, artifacts or bodies or skeletons of uh, what they call blacks going back more than a million years ago. First, they just, their history just went back uh, 6,000, a little over 6,000 years back. You know? And then they, then uh, after they got the, uh, the anthropologists got to studying, they finding out that uh, man was here a million years. But they can't find themselves that to go back that long. Everywhere they look, they see the black man. See? So, uh, it's just not a hate teaching, uh, biracial. We just telling facts, you know. It's really a scientific teaching. A science about your ancestors. Your, fa your real father is the black man. He's, and the black woman. She's the mother, he's the father. Of all humans and mankind. So, uh, take it or leave it. You ain't got to believe it because you don't see it in your modern day books. They don't want you to know it. They're gonna leave. They're gonna leave a whole lot of things out. Even uh, now, the scientists are leaving a whole lot of facts out. Not only are we the father of mankind, we are the gods. 
of man and mankind. Why? Because we got something called carbon melanin. Oh, snap. They have a little bit. But we gonna talk about that on another day. I just wanted to introduce y'all to Master Farah Muhammad. Why nationally the government and the government's flunkies and uh, agents and stoolies are going to tell you, try to convince you otherwise, but it don't make sense what they say. If you really listen to what they say, it don't make sense. Ain't nobody going to, uh, Master Farad ain't going to be a kind man giving you, giving you the, the advantage. See, once, once you give somebody the, the knowledge of uh, truth, themselves building them up to be a god you know you you inflating their ego you inflating their 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 confidence and they and they can feel like they can do anything so why would he want to do that why he gonna make you smart he gonna keep he gonna try to keep you dumb why he gonna tell you to study the dictionary study this and that and the other he wants you to stay dumb so it don't make sense that he's a kind man and a crook if he's going to tell you to study and he's going to teach you advanced wisdom, advanced knowledge, like he did Elijah. Elijah uh, only had a fourth grade education and he was, you know, entertaining the scientists and the scholars. This is Black Life.